Jacksonville State and Middle Tennessee college football pick for Wednesday. <laughs> uh, showing right now uh, Tennessee State in this one minus the three and a half. Uh, when we were on the circus show, I mean, this one definitely, the move has been on Jacksonville State all the way. Let's just call it for what it is. Uh, it was as high as Middle Tennessee minus six. But despite this move, to Jacksonville State, uh, handicappers on sites similar to this one um, are pretty strong, actually, on Middle Tennessee. So they're going back to the well with the Blue Raiders here, despite their struggles so far. Maybe because of you know Jacksonville State's newbie status. I don't know. I mean, they they're the four and one team. The move is totally on Jacksonville State here, but. Uh, cappers seem to be willing to come here on Middle Tennessee despite their 0-4 record against, you know, uh, Division I, uh, 1A teams. But, uh, you know, they've definitely racked up some uh, big loss. You know, they've lost by 49 points. They've lost by 21 points so far. And so far, Rich Rod has Jacksonville State as they're being talked about just because they're, you know, one of the two new – teams so and you've got a coach like rodriguez the total has definitely been moving lower in this game it opened when we did that circus show when we did that opening line show on sunday it opened 55 and a half and has since dropped here all the way to 51 and a half uh let's see here for Jacksonville State, they have, they're have they already plus eight in turnovers this season. They're coming off an overtime win last week. Uh, you know, they were strong uh, at one double A. They were one of the better teams out there. They usually win you know, two of every three games. We saw, I think, you know, in their last game, uh, the defense that they have and, and what, you know, has made them a really good program over the last several years. I mean, yeah, it's been tough. You know, it's going to be tough uh, to come to this level. And, you know, they've played some easier contests, certainly, but that's okay. You're easing, easing into it here a little bit. So I know that handicappers uh, I've seen are kind of split on this total. Actually, the move has me going over. I know Jacksonville State's been bringing the defense here right now, but Middle Tennessee is allowing 35 points per game. Jacksonville State maybe's had trouble getting their offense going down a little bit. They uh, they did win at Coastal 30-16. Uh, to 16. They were a 13-point dog in that game. That was a big, you know, uh, su surprising game to a certain extent. But here's the thing. Remember when they got into the game against Sam and – it looked like the lowest scoring game in NCAA history. I was like, on, oh, yeah, this is going to be a ridiculous 7 to nothing game, and it ended up being 35-28 to 28 because what happened, I think, was, and I didn't see it coming, was maybe now you're getting into playing some of your own ilk, as I like to say. And while Sam, look, I mean, maybe Jacksonville State and Sam are still some of the lowest-rated teams in uh, the, in all of Division One, I, I would understand that, but uh, Middle has definitely declined, and we may just see enough offense here to get this over fifty-one and a half. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't think it's going to go. Doesn't feel like it's going to go any lower because I don't know if there's fifty ones. Uh, you know, it is an it, it is an interesting number in totals land. So, want to say hello to. Uh, Bobby here today as well. He says all the games are going under in baseball today. All right. Well, then I guess I'll go two and one. I did go over in Toronto, Minnesota. Like I said, the steam came over in that one. Anyways, let's uh, take a look at the Burley's got Middle Tennessee here in this one. And Ferner says, what about that, uh, you know, Jacksonville State? No passing offense. Burley says he's going under in this one and got it at 52. All right. Well, uh, at least Jacksonville State, they, they have the more experienced quarterback. That's for sure. Um, and, again, they did, you know, definitely had more points last week. 
So far, uh, three and one though to the under for Jacksonville State uh, in their in their one A games. So I'll just uh, clarify that. I don't think I put it on my. Ra- I should be more complete with my uh, FCS FBS matchups. So I uh, will note uh, maybe it hasn't taken a. You know, maybe we're, st- we're going to still wait on more data, but uh, favorites four and two so far in conference usa games uh middle tennessee 11 and 8 against the spread last 19 as a home favorite i don't know if these are strong enough okay let's just uh stick with the play over here and it's really based on the fact that i thought the original number was actually quite better and the fact that it has moved lower and i thought the opening number was i don't know pretty much right on i had this game at about maybe uh, 56 or so, so uh, almost almost a premium, but I think I'm going to go uh, probably have a premium on this one on the side. And let's take a look at the other game now with Florida International and New Mexico State. Hey. <laughs> Here is New Mexico State favorite favorite in this one by six and a half. They opened four on Sunday when we were on that opening line show. It was bet up here to five and a half, and I don't know. I think I could see why. I think I could get. I think this is something that I can uh, get behind. So far, it looks like handicappers are running pretty solid uh, on uh, New Mexico State as well. Some of the you know the best guys out there, really, I've seen on. New Mexico State. I'm probably just going to tail them here. I'm going to tag along. I like New Mexico State. Missed out on the best price. So I'm probably just going to give it out free here on the show. Of course, I'm probably going to buy it down to five and a half. That's what I do on numbers like this. You only get one shot at a football game. So I'll probably buy it to five and a half, lay some juice here with New Mexico State uh, against FIU. New Mexico State. Two and three now, but I think they've, you know, made progress here with Coach Kill, certainly, uh, compared to where they were just a couple of years ago. Yeah, they're uh, one and three. They've given up some big points this year, but I think it might be different here against Florida International uh, in this one. They did win against New Mexico 27 to 17 on the road, and uh, I tell you, uh, New Mexico State, they don't, they're don't they not home favorites very often. But when they are, it's been pretty good. Eight and three against the spread last four-plus years uh, as a home favorite. So uh, here's a little, you know, a little dicey laying a you know, full touchdown here. That's why I want to buy it back down a little bit. But uh, I know cappers are going to be on the under in this one. Uh, the steam came in on the under in this one. So Tony was on the over, but uh, nonetheless, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure I'm in online with lockstep with the boss. So anyways, uh, uh, FIU 2-0 and already uh, as a road dog against the spread, a role that really has been dismal for them over the last several years. They've only covered seven of their last 20 as road dogs. So... And also, you know, it was a tough transition for FIU uh, to come into Conference USA. They are uh, they originally went two sixteen and one against the spread, but um, over the last year they've been they they've rounded it out to about five hundred over the last uh, last ten games or so over the last uh, co- one conference season approximately. So there's been some progress here for FIU. Last year it was 21 to 7. FIU got the win. Notice that score, just 28 points, and that was in uh, here in Las Cruces. So uh, again, FIU came in here, held New Mexico State to just seven points. So I'm going to take New Mexico State, though, in this one. If they're favored, it's got to be for a reason. Uh, other cappers seem to like them. I'm going to give them out on the show here. I liked them as well, but I don't know if I want to lay a touchdown necessarily. So I'll buy it down here. I'm going to take New Mexico State 
I'll, I'm playing six and a half here on the show um, for an So you and I will buy it down personally, right, in pocket. But I'm giving out plays here on the show. Uh, we're giving out the line, and we want to be right. 